Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. You know, we have a lot of issues to deal with here in Lansing. People should be angry. They're paying more in taxes, their roads are crumbling, their schools are failing, and we've had 9,000 children poisoned in Flint. And yet the speaker, whose party controls all three branches of Michigan government and hasn't been able to make meaningful progress on a number of crucial issues, proposes something that he knows he can't get done. Speaker Cotter wants a constitutional amendment to make it easier to fire civil servants. This is the epitome of passing the buck. If the speaker wants to make it easier to fire people and hold them accountable, I have some suggestions. He needs to address the employment protections for emergency managers in this state. He needs to not spend thousands of dollars to avoid his own deposition in a legal case in Lansing. He needs to have real hearings, real hearings on what happened in Flint. Actions express priorities. People have been poisoned, tax revenues are down, and we underfund education and infrastructure on the backs of the hardworking Michigan families. The speaker's only solution to solve Michigan's problems is to scapegoat hardworking civil servants. 336 employees that fall under the Civil Service Commission were dismissed last year. In reality, the Civil Service Commission is far more effective than Speaker Cotter, who didn't introduce a single policy bill last year. Who is really the one playing Candy Crush all day? These are the people who inspect our nursing homes, protect our, our, our kids, our foster kids, and keeps our lakes and rivers clean. They are not the enemy. We should not sit up on our ivory tower and look down and blame them for the ills of this state. So what does it say about the Republican priorities when Speaker Cotter's big ticket goal is ducking blame and deflecting it onto civil servants? Instead of addressing the fact that infant mortality rates in some of our cities rival those in a third world nation. Instead of taking meaningful steps to make college more affordable to the 62% of the students who have debt. Instead of fixing our crumbling roads and bridges. Instead of investigating why one in 10 children in Michigan have a parent who is incarcerated. Instead of prioritizing the care of more than 600,000 veterans in our state. And instead of addressing the critical shortfalls in the Detroit public school system. Speaker Cotter's only dropping this bill so everyone forgets who is really responsible for the ills of our state. Let's stop scapegoating those that work for us and start remembering who we work for, the people of the state of Michigan.